Hey, John here. So today we're going to do a starter on this uh, 2007 Volvo 780. Now it does have a new starter in it and I guess it was just bad. So we're going to you know, replace the starter. So first let me show you what it's doing. Alright, so I'll give it a little start and I'll show you hear that so you got a click no crank situation and I know it's, I know it's not the batteries because the batteries are new and as you see you turn a key enough times but it'll start so there's something faulty in the starter uh, a dead spot or something so I've tried to me so like I said I replaced the batteries so obviously it's not the batteries it's four batteries I placed all four I put on a new starter cylinder I mean starter relay uh, check the wiring check fuses check grounds so, in hopes that it wasn't the starter, since the starter is only like a month old, month and a half old. So I just guess, I guess it's just one of those things. The starter is under warranty, as the, the part is under warranty, but the labor, me doing the work, isn't under warranty. So I got to do the work all over again. So that's what I'm gonna cover in this video. So let's let me show you, give you an overview of what we need to do. The starter's down there. So we have to disconnect the ground and the positive cable, move those wires out the way, take off that starter relay, because that goes back on the starter, because I got to take it in and exchange it under warranty, so I got to put it back how it was. And we also you know, just connect the batteries from here. As you see, those are new batteries, like I said. So, yep. Yeah. So, let's get started. Got all the bolts loose. I can pull the starter out. Look at the teeth. Yeah, so 
So yeah, I'll finish putting this. I gotta take off the starter relay. And uh take this in. Alright, so we got the new starter. And we're gonna throw it in there. But first I gotta this is adjustable. You see this front flange can be adjusted so you can adjust the angle so it's not rubbing or hitting anything and so all the wires are close enough and I think this is only need to be adjusted a little bit so that's what we're gonna do now Mountain bolts tight, now I gotta just connect the battery cables, put everything back together, and then we can give it a test start. So I'm gonna uh, tighten up the battery, put on and tighten the battery cables now. Put the nut on there so I can get it started. If you didn't have that, you're gonna have a heck of a time trying to get that nut on there and start it because you got tiny little fingers. Everything is going to add back together. I'm going to take this makeshift heat shield. That's not stock. I put that on there, not necessarily for the heat, but this harness leaks. Oil is leaking from this head put through the wiring harness. Down the wiring harness. Over, and this wire harness goes into here and oil leaks out of the back side right onto the starter so I'll put this heat shield piece of aluminum right there to kind of just let the oil run off down the side of the engine instead of right onto the starter but I'm thinking I'm going to take that off because now that this starter wire is so close I don't know, you probably can't even see that but Uh, the starter wire is so close, I don't want this heat shield to over time come loose, fall down, hit that starter wire, and ground out on the engine, and all chaos, all hell break loose. So, let me take that off. So, I'm take that off, hook the batteries up, and then give it a test start. Alright, everything's hooked up, so let's give it a try let's give it a test start and make sure see if it starts right away see so if the issue that the original issue is gone So 
there it is started on the first try so obviously it was the starter so there you have it put the starter in a let me go where you can hear me There you have it. That's putting the starter in a 2007 Volvo or putting the starter on a D12 uh, Volvo engine. So, was it easy? No, but it wasn't impossible. I mean, you just had to have some patience. Uh, the bottom bolt you can only get to by going under the truck. And you have to make sure that when you're putting the starter back in that you get all the bolts started before you tighten any of them so make sure you have enough play so you can wiggle the starter around so you won't cross thread any of the bolts because you definitely don't want that to happen because then you'll have to if you know how to tap out the holes to renew the threads or go to a or have a machine shop come and tap out the holes so be patient make sure that everything's lined up get the bolts started before you tighten any of them down um, the bolts for the starter to mount the starter are 17 millimeter the nuts for the cables are 19 millimeter the nut for the switch for the solenoid is 8 millimeter and depending on your setup you might have to take the, the breather holes off to get that out the way and uh, make sure you disconnect the battery cables and it might be easier on some parts you can have somebody helping you because then they can work the top while you work the bottom or vice versa and if you have the original starter which is a big really big heavy steel all steel starter that's really heavy so some help getting that in and out will be in your best interest but I'll put the list of the tools I use the sizes and a resource for you to create create an additional income outside of trucking that'd be all at the this video so if you guys are value out this video like share subscribe and I'll talk to you again soon